Next comic, very funny guy. Good up for Jawan Nelson, everybody. How you guys doing? Good, good, good. I'm having a terrible week. I'm having a terrible week. I spent all day yesterday consoling my punk ass nephew. <laughs> He's 10 years old. He spent all day crying yesterday because he didn't make the all state orchestra. <laughs> he plays the train. <laughs> Like if you've been playing the triangle for five minutes, you should be able to make the intergalactic orchestra. <laughs> they just they just don't make kids as tough as they used to. Like I remember when I was a kid, I once rode my big wheel into the street, got hit by a truck. My mother was like, "Walk it off." <laughs> when I was ten years old, I fell down an elevator shaft, nine floors. My father got to the bottom, opened up the door, he said, get your punk ass up and walk it off. <laughs> I was in fourth grade with a classmate, he walked off polio. <laughs> I mean, sure he did it on his hands. But regardless, he walked it off. <laughs> Kids nowadays too soft. People are starting to get too sensitive if you ask me. Like my people with the N-word, just too sensitive. Like I remember back in my great, 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 great grandfather's day, everybody used the N-word. <laughs> nobody got fired, nobody got laid off, nobody got suspended. Come to think about it, usually when somebody used it, everybody got right to work. <laughs> Community. I'm a mentor for a lot of, you know, uh, underprivileged kids, a lot of ghetto kids. And it's tough to get their attention. Not because, like, you know, they're hard-headed. It's just I can't pronounce their fucking name. <laughs> Personally, I, I think this should be a law. I do. I think the law should state if the average person can't say your name, you can't fucking have it. <laughs> The way they should figure out whether or not it's straight or not is they should just have like a national ghetto spelling bee. Every year. I can see how the first one will probably play out though. It'll be like this. Coming to the stage, we have Jonathan Peters. Jonathan Peters, the name you will be spelling today is Fried Chickenisha. <laughs> Sentence, please. <laughs> Sentence, fried chicken Nisha. If you don't get your black ass feet off my dining room table, I'm going to split your head open down to the white meat. Fried chicken Nisha. Fried chicken Nisha. Origin? Origin? South Side Chicago. Quinta Jones, apartment two, building C. Fried chicken Nisha. Fried chicken Nisha. Okay, F. R. That is incorrect. It is P. H. Elemental P. Solid letter Q. S. T. S. Fried chicken Nisha. You guys laugh, but fried chicken is going to need to get a job one day, and the economy is fucked up. <laughs> Let me tell you how I knew the economy was fucked up. I knew the economy was fucked up when they started talking about closing the post office. The post offices. Old people are all pissed off about it. Young people really don't give a fuck. I was really concerned about it because I thought about prison violence. Can you imagine late one night in a cell, one inmate sucking another inmate's penis for a postage stamp? <laughs> Wakes up the next morning in the fucking post office is there? <laughs> Somebody's getting shit. The economy's affecting us all. I'm gonna be honest. It's even affecting me, you know what I'm saying? I used to smoke crack. I did, I did. But then the cocaine part got to be too expensive, so now I just smoke the baking soda. <laughs> I 
don't even understand how they decided that you put baking soda and cocaine together to make crack. We're like two junkies sitting around the kitchen table. One was like, yo, Tater, how you get your cocaine muffins to rise? <laughs> it's like, baking soda, homie, baking soda. I'm convinced the government wants us all to smoke crack anyway. Because why else would they let bacon soda into the country so freely? <laughs> Besides making crack, what else is bacon soda even used for? Everyone's always like, well, it helps keep your refrigerator smelling fresh. To that, I'm like, how about throw out some of that old fucking food? <laughs> Everyone else is always like, well, bacon soda, you know, helps keep your teeth, you know, teeth strong. I was like, if that's the case, then how come every crackhead I know is missing teeth? <laughs> it's just been that kind of week, guys. It's like, I, I lost my girlfriend. I had to break up with her. I was, I was walking around the house and I found out my fiance, girlfriend, she has an athletic vagina. I looked under the sink, she wears something called Playtex Sport. A tampon. Sport edition. So I started thinking to myself, I don't know if I want my girlfriend's vagina playing sports. <laughs> Fallopian tube and it's done for the season. <laughs> Plus, I really like the backup vagina. Cause it's an asshole. Right? It's a 